on the win. Uh, there's the finish you were looking for. How good did it feel to go out there and get it done in one? Felt really good. What was the official time on that? Anybody know? Mm. Official time? 120? I wrote down 110. Earlier this week, I wrote first round KO 110. It felt good, though. Should have thrown some money on that. I know. Yeah, you know what? I thought about it, but, you know, take care of business first. He came out very aggressive. I think you had mentioned this to me. You expected some kicks from him. Were you surprised that he was kind of came out flying like that a little bit? No, we figured he would have a little bit of nervous energy. His first time fighting for Bellator, come out uh, swinging. I thought he would come out even harder maybe. He came out with the low kicks. I'm getting really good at checking those. I checked a couple and he stopped throwing them. And uh, the whole the plan was to be patient. Let him come, show his cards, move around, and then uh, get the kill. You were patient, but then it also seemed like you, fl you flipped the switch a little bit. Like you knew, okay, I'm yeah. going in for the kill now. So what, what showed you that? Was it just the way he was responding to the punches? Did you think he was getting hurt? Um, I felt very early that I figured the distance out like pretty quickly. And once I felt the distance, I felt that he wasn't, he wasn't committing to his shots so I could really step in. And then a punch must have landed that I didn't even feel because I seen his eyes start to get red and swollen. And I was like, I've got him. You know? And then when I checked the kick, I knew he, was, he wasn't throwing anymore. Cody, congratulations. I just got one quick question for you. I was looking at some of the betting lines, and you yeah. are like a ridiculous favorite, like record-setting favorite. One betting line had you a negative 1,500 favorite, which is massive. Wow. Do you feel any extra pressure coming in? You only have a couple you know, fights under your belt and have all these huge, hefty you know, expectations of you in such a young in your career. I like it, honestly. When I see that... It gets me excited, like, yeah, that's right. Like, I am I am the favorite, and I got I got a job to do, and I'm going to go take care of business. You know, I love it. Thank you. Cody, congratulations. You know, we talked pre-fight, and you said eventually down the road you want that A.G. McKee fight, both homegrown Bellator fighters. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's the next step to get you there? I mean, who, anyone in mind that, that takes you to that path? Yeah, I mean, I'm not even worried about him. or any, I'm just worried about progressing through my career, getting wins, getting cage time. And getting the belt. It's whoever whoever has the belt when, when that time comes, this is who I'm focused on. Hey Cody, congrats, man. Look, you were smooth you. all week with looking fresh at Media Day, now coming Thank in you. with a smooth finish. Listen, you're one of the hottest prospects in Bellator, right? So another guy out there is Aaron Pico. You know, he's been dominating people. Does is that a matchup that interests you? Yeah, I feel like that's a matchup that interests everybody, right? We got our own paths right now, but I I do believe that someday uh, in the future We'll cross. Congrats, Cody. Uh, I noticed you didn't have a nickname yet. And at 4-0, yeah. we got to get you a nickname, make you more marketable. Cody, fighting law, enforcing the law, the lawman. I mean, what do we think? Do I really need one to be more marketable? I mean, I feel like I feel like the no nickname kind of has its own little ring to it, you know? Just a straight, straight name, you know, like Diaz brother style. Okay, Cody, we have a couple questions on the Zoom here. All right. All right. Santiago, go ahead. Hi, Cody. Congratulations on a beautiful performance. That was stunning. Thank you. Cody, you're not even a year with the promotion, and you already have a 4-0 record with three massive finishes. The very least that you expect now, Cody, is to have your next fight on the main card. Am I right? I, I'm not focused on any of that kind of stuff. You know, I'll let Bellator take, uh, Bellator take care of that. That's what they do best. I'm just here to fight. Put me wherever you want. I'm going to come out, chase the finish, and, and fight. You know, F one more before I'm one year into my contract. I'd like to get one more before October, or in October. Unfortunately, Roman Feraldo couldn't get in the cage today, but Johnny Eblen also fights later tonight, and ATT looks unstoppable at the moment in Bellator. Yeah. How proud are you to be part of such an amazing team, and how proud are you of Mike Brown, who was in Vegas last week, and today he's already with you on the other side of the U.S. How special is Mike's contribution to your performances? Yeah, that's a lot there, but... Uh... Saeed is fighting right now. He's an ATT guy as well. And then Johnny uh, on the main card. I'm so proud to be part of ATT. You know, they're doing an amazing thing. and They're taking such good care of me. They've, they've put me in the position I'm in right now. And Mike Brown, I can't say enough about him. I mean, he literally was just in Las Vegas with Dustin. Flies back to Florida. Flies out here with me. Uh, he has to be up at 3 a.m. to catch his plane back to Florida and keep training the best guys in the world. I mean, he's a, he's a true gem in the sport. Donna, go ahead. Hi, Cody. Congratulations on a great result. I know that you mentioned that you're not really overly concerned about card placement or anything like that, but it seems like I'm asking you after every one of your, your big victories. At this point, do you have to kind of sit down with 
not only your team but Bellator as well and say we do need a bit of a step up in competition because that's another fight there tonight where you are in pretty much no trouble at all. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have that conversation. You know, I'm going to enjoy tonight. Tomorrow, uh, you know, I'll talk to Mike and see whatever Mike thinks is what I'm going to do. You know, so whatever Mike Brown tells me is what we're doing. The last one for me, uh, obviously, you you would have watched it last weekend, and of course, you trained with Dustin in the lead up to the the fight with Connor. What have what have you made, and what has the the team made? Obviously, Mike was there. Of these bizarre excuses he's been making for the last week. Who cares? Dustin Dustin's two and zero. Uh, or, or two and one, but but he uh, he won the fight, and that's that. You know what I mean? He's gonna go fight for the belt and uh, become world champion. Thank you, sir. Jim, go ahead. Hey, Jim Barcelo, Miami Herald, South Florida. Cody, what has it been like for you as far as uh, now? Are you gonna be taking some time off for a little bit, or no? Just go straight back into training and just whatever's coming up is coming up. I had enough time off uh, from December 10th fight to the April 9th fight, and that's almost four months. That's four months I had off, so I don't I don't need time off. I'm gonna go home to Pennsylvania, spend about a week or two in Pennsylvania. My mom's birthday's coming up. I'm gonna celebrate that with her, and then get back to Florida and uh, get ready for the next one. And then lastly, for me, just Cody, talk a little bit about American Top Team and just the talent that's there. Everybody's helping each other too. I know it's an individual sport, but it's like a, a team there with y'all. Yeah, it is. It's a team, and we all support each other. And what better place in the world to be? You know, I mean, everywhere, every which way you look, world class fighters. You know, there there is no easy days. There is no easy partners. It's and it's a good culture. I love it there. I'm never leaving. Okay, we got one more. Last one, Eric. Eric on mute. Hey, Cody. Eric Knopfsnyder from PA Power Wrestling. Uh, Looking forward to having you back here in Pennsylvania, but uh, you've been telling me for about a year now about the striking capabilities. Was it nice to, to get to share those off a little bit tonight? Yeah, that's what I really wanted. I mean, we knew uh, at any point, you know, we could take him down and, and, and impose our will on him. But, man, I want to I wanna challenge myself. You know, if we know that's the easy, obvious path to victory, it's nice to have that. But I want to challenge myself and, and grow as a, a mixed martial artist and, and show all of you guys, show the world that I'm not just a wrestler. 